Well, hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited, episode 11. I am your host, Anon Jr., and for those of you just tuning in, we've been playing through Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic as part of our season one, and it's been a, it's been fun. It's an older game that uh, was highly recommended to me, saw it on sale on Steam, and went from there. Uh, we are... We, we've got 10 episodes in the can, about 3 hours apiece. They estimate roughly 60-ish hours of gameplay. Um, <clears throat> I hope to finish it in around that spot. But with uh, days like today, I might be padding a little bit past that number. If you were watching last week's episode, you'll note that I had mentioned that there was a couple of things I was going to do. I was going to try my hand at the races, try to get some credits that way off camera, and try to grind those out. And I was going to try to get some character sheets finished so that way I could shop a little bit quicker and easier for my crew. And I'll let you guess how much of that actually happened. I'm ready to show you the video of everything that happened between last week and this week. You ready? And there we go. Now we're done with the video, so we can move on to the rest of the episode. <laughs> okay, no, it was it wasn't quite that bad. Uh, let me load in and get back on the on the ship. It, it wasn't quite that bad. I did make a little bit of little bit of progress looking up uh, some of the so getting some of the character to, info together, trying to categorize out and take a real good hard look at what's going on with each of the characters. And I realized that there's a few of these guys that I haven't taken off the ship in a while, and I really need to do that if nothing else to get them to auto level up so I can get everybody about on par with where they need to be. Uh, so. <laughs> So today is going to be a little less, um, a little less of a push towards a particular goal. I am going to on stream do the stuff that I was planning on doing between streams, uh, and a part of me is actually a little bit happier that I'm doing it that way, just because I like making sure that you see everything that I'm doing. Um, I don't like uh, like the day we had the technical problems where I ended up finishing something, recording it, and the only way you got a chance to see it is if you watch the YouTube upload afterwards. Although for those of you who are watching this on YouTube, then, well, that's the only way you saw it, and so you didn't really know it was all that different. And that's, that's okay, too. Uh, side note, if you're watching on Twitch or Mixer where this goes live, you can see the link to the YouTube channel down below in the description. And that is where I keep all the archives. So if you're just getting into the series, all the previous 10 episodes are on YouTube and should be available for your perusal. And all right. So one of the things that I wanted to do is take inventory of what I had and figure out what was missing. Like if we go to the workbench... I'm not going to go through the lightsabers because nobody around here has crystals for those. <laughs> and so that'll that'll get inventoried out on the character sheets when I get those finished. But when we go to the ranged items and we look at like this repeating blaster that our mercenary has, if we go into upgrade it, we'll see the only thing he has is the hair trigger. So I know that we need at least one scope so far. So I'm going to take my little dry erase notebook draw myself while I hold up the notebook and I'm going to try to get a couple of notes as we go around because I, I know there's a couple of stores in on Terrace uh, on Terrace, we haven't been on Terrace for a while there's no Terrace to go to hasn't been for a few episodes not sure what happened go watch the archives alright, uh, <laughs> sorry, on Tatooine I know there's a couple of shops that have components before I went spending the credits that I, I don't really have to go frivolously wasting, <laughs> I wanted to make sure I knew what I was looking for first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jot down uh, nothing because it won't write. There we go. Scope. I need at least one. And we got the cell. I need at least one. And the beam splitter. 
I need at least one. And he's got the hair trigger. Okay, so we got that. Well, one of our people has Karth's... Well, hopefully it's Karth that has his own blaster equipped. <laughs> that is fully upgraded, so we're good to go there. And one of the two Bendax blasters that we have is equipped on a character. So let's take a quick look. He's got the scope. But we need a cell. We need a splitter. And... Come on, cooperate with me. We need at least one hair trigger. Okay. And for the bowcaster, that should be pretty close to... No, that is completely upgraded, so that's always good. And we got one other... We got Remember, we did the weird duplication glitch, and we got two Bendex blasters, and that has absolutely bupkis, which is probably why nobody's using it right now. So I need at least one more scope. We got one more cell, one more splitter, one more trigger. All right. So that's what I need for gear on the firearm side. And if I look over at the melee side, I'm pretty sure that prototype that somebody is using is completely upgraded because that's what I was using, and it is... And Mission's Vibroblade is missing an energy pro projector. I was about to say protector. Uh, I mean, I guess in a way the sword's a protector. Protection through superior offense. All right, so we got the energy projector that we need. And on the armor front, this Achani Fiber Armor should be completely upgraded, and it is. The Republic Armor, I'm pretty sure we... Yes, we completely upgraded that. Okay. Now, Kylo Nord's Battle Armor was one that we picked up recently, uh, just this past episode, and that is missing both. So we need... Another page. So we need armor reinforcement. And we need mesh underlay. Alright, so these are some of the things that we're looking for, and... And we've got most of our characters running around with some really nice weapons. Uh, except for... Like, I got a nice lightsaber. She's got a nice double-bladed lightsaber. He's got that really nice repeating blaster that he came with. So we should be able to keep that upgraded enough that it'll keep up with the damage output. Karth, we've been able to keep him upgraded with his own blaster. And a Sith Assassin Pistol in his offhand. Nice. This poor HK has been stuck with a bog standard pulled off of somebody's dead body blaster rifle. That's something that we need to fix. Uh, and that was awareness. Yeah, okay. Because I was also, as I was putting together the character sheets, I was contemplating rearranging a little bit of equipment, too. Because um, this guy has got the advanced targeting. He originally started off with a basic targeting computer, which gave him the bonus feat weapons focus blaster pistol. Which is good, because he's dual wielding pistols and getting a, an extra plus one to attack it is always nice. Um... I had originally put this advanced targeting computer in him, which gives him the bonus feet weapons focus blaster pistol and the bonus feet weapons focus blaster rifle. Except I can't, it doesn't seem like he uh, can equip a rifle, even though he's got the bonus feet. So it looks like it doesn't give you the bonus feet regardless of whether you have the initial weapons proficiency to begin with. 
So that advanced targeting computer doesn't do him much good. So I'm probably going to bump him back down to the basic targeting computer because we still want that bonus feat weapons focus on the weapons that he is using. As much as I would love to put in, you know, like one of these awareness bumps or something like that, um, I, I'd much rather have the extra <laughs> plus one to attack. Uh, that would be really, really nice. So let's go ahead and go OK. So that bumps him back down to the basic. And what I was actually thinking of doing is as much as I really like having the plus two to awareness on this guy, uh, I'm not bringing him around for his awareness. He is a big battle droid. Like that is his primary skill, battle droid. He is an assassin. He has tons of blaster weapons proficiencies. I bring him along to kill people and break things. So I'm thinking of putting this in here and getting him the extra weapons focus feats as part of the bonus equipment. So let's go ahead and do that, and let's just double check his uh, feet tree real quick. Uh, ba -ba -ba, da -da -da -da, there we go. That's the wrong one, and that's going to make me scroll through again. That was one of the things that was slowing me down when I was working on the character sheets, is I really wish you could select the character, and then whatever you picked up here, it would follow along. Uh, would make it really nice, yeah, because... Although, uh, are those there because of the equipment or are those there because he had them to begin with? I'm struggling to remember. Uh, I think he's one of the ones that I wrote down, so let me check real quick. And documents, character sheets, Star Wars, Star Wars. Uh, no, Saturday Night Live. Oh, no, it was off key. I apologize. All right, that is me. That is Bastila. That is Anders. And HK, he originally had. He only had the blaster rifle weapons focus, so that does get him the blaster pistol weapons focus. Which doesn't help because he's not toting pistols. But now that I know that that module gave him the blaster pistol focus, do we have a pistol that is better than that bog standard rifle? Because that's only, that's 28 meters, does 1 to 8 damage, and a 19 to 20 crit. Alright, so we go from 1 to 8... Two to seven. So we lose a little bit of range. The floor goes up, which is nice, but the ceiling comes down, which is not nice. And the crit range is uh, less forgiving. All right. Uh, one day. So all that does is cut down our range and reduce our crit. And you know what? Okay, so... Hmm. Although that is upgradable. And I like upgradable. Because that means that we, with an upgradable blaster, we could bump this back up into something more than marginally better. Because right now, uh, I lose a little bit of my maximum potential damage, but I gain a better m minimum damage. And because we got the feet, that goes up to a plus 16 to hit instead of... Here, I'm circling with the mouse, and I keep forgetting the mouse doesn't show on the stream. Yeah, which... I, I nod my head that way, because that's where the monitor that lets me monitor the streams is. <laughs> uh, so that plus 16 to hit... Uh, Alright, so he's not going to hit for quite as much top damage, but the average should be a little bit better, and he's got a better chance of hitting. Let's try that. Let's try that and see how it goes. I won't sell the Heavy Blaster yet. We'll see if uh, anything comes of that. 
or sorry, the uh, blaster rifle. Yeah. Yeah, okay. He didn't have two weapon fighting, though. Because then I could get another character with some dual pistols, and that could always be nice. Nah, I'll let that sit for now. Okay, done. Um, yeah, everybody's pretty good on the armor front, so it's mostly missing equipment, and I gotta get people out to level them. And since we ran a little bit later than I normally go, I still need to run around and talk to my minions and see if they have any other discussions they'd like to have. I'm not going to bother talking to Mission because, well, we already know where she's at in her progression. We got to finish working with, for her brother Griff, and that means the next planet we head to needs to be Kashuk. For two reasons, the first of which being that is where we find the thing for her brother, and the other reason is because that's when we get Zalvar here to uh, to actually talk and say something other than I will honor my life debt. Now, go bugger off somewhere. Okay, that isn't quite the way he says it, but uh, that that is the essence of it. So, let's see if Candorus has any other war yeah, stories what do for you us. Want? Nope, he has no new Your stories choice. for us. I'm here if you want something done right. And actually, now that I think about it, these guys probably aren't going to have anything until we level them all up anyway. So let's, uh, before we waste our time running around from person to person, let's go. All right. Uh, we've already taken her care of her on the planet, so let's add Candrus. And we haven't taken Karth out for a while, so let's add him in the most unlikely pairing of ever, ever. <laughs> okay. Isn't you sure? Yep. That's what I want to do, and it's going to pop up. Hey, would you like to level these people, right? Yep, there it is. So, let's start with Karth. He is our soldier. He's been with us for some time now, so let's level up. He gets some skills with his whole one skill point per level. Hmm, where will I spend it all? Probably on treat injury. Because, quite honestly, he is another one that I don't bring for his other skills. Uh, I just want to keep his treat injury up so that way when he uses the med packs, he gets a decent heal out of them. So, there that is. He gets a new feat. He's gone as far up the two weapon fighting as he can. He's as far up on the armor proficiencies as he can. He's got the power attack, but that's because he came with it. And we're starting to get to the point where I really wish this game had something that is in the classic D&D. Uh, and that is, that is the high level spell or ability for reformation or psychic reformation if you're playing with psionics. Where you can get to a certain character level and then kind of rebuild and that lets you shed some of the some of the stuff that looked like a good idea at the time but you realize later eh, that that wasn't eh, that, that wasn't as good as i thought it was going to be um like this power attack that he came with that's useless i would have never picked it for him in the beginning but guess what he arrived with it i'm stuck with it um so I might bump up his rapid shot, which will cut that down. It'll get some extra attacks down range, and it'll minimize the penalty to defense. I might also top off his master sniper shot, because that's going to quadruple the critical threat range of all range attacks. So in other words, if it's one of the one of the ones that we were looking at with you got a roll of 20 or a 20, um, then that brings the range f from 20 to 20 to 17 to 20. And if the attack hits, the target is stunned for 6 seconds unless they make a fortitude save at a DC of the attacking character's level. So that would be 11. Plus his intelligence, which would be 0. Uh, <laughs> I don't think it is 0. Um, he's not that dumb. Actually, no, he only gets the one skill point. So yes, he is that dumb. Um... 
Okay, so his level, which would be 11, plus his intelligence would be plus 0. So that's a DC of 11. Uh, that's a... That's a low bar to pass, and that's the best this gets. And it lowers his defense by five when used. Hmm. That might be better off improving the rapid shot, because that's going to only bump his defense down by two. Gives a minus two attack penalty. But his dex is high enough that, that that's not that bad. Uh, let's look at our other options real quick. We've maxed out the weapon specialization on the pistol. We could start building out the blaster rifle, but honestly, since we've topped out the two-weapon fighting, it would be a shame to not use that, because that is, again, getting more fire downrange, which is almost always a positive. Almost. Oh, he's got melee weapons proficiency for some reason. Poor soul. Toughness, that's... No, that's not really going to help us. He's got more... Well, I say he's got more than enough hit points, but I, I don't know anybody that said, Oh, yeah, I got enough hit points. I don't I don't need any more. Uh, but in the grand scheme of things that I could be adding to it, that's not high on the list. I could do some of the dueling, but in order to get the benefit from dueling, I would have to not use two weapons, which again... We, we've already got that maxed out, and we really want more fire down range. Uh, flurries for melee. Honestly, we, we don't want We skipped all these other ones for a reason. Except maybe the implant level. That might be worth getting, because there are bonuses we could be giving him through some of the uh, cybernetic implants. And we can't do that because he's one of the few characters I have that doesn't have the feet that allows him to use those. So the question is, do I want to get some bonuses to him via the cybernetic implants, or do I want to improve his flurry? Because I don't think I'm going to worry about that master sniper yet. That, that might be one of those things that I add when I run out of other options that make sense. Uh, because, again, it's better than toughness, it's better than dueling, it's better than any of that other junk up there. Uh, but as far as a top priority, really my two top priorities are either going to be to bump up improve rapid shot or add the implant. The bump to rapid shot is going to have the penalty that he takes on defense and attack while doing the rapid shot. The implant... I've got a couple of them floating around in the inventory, and I can always get some others, too. Hmm. See, and that's the other thing. Master Rapid Shot only requires level 8, which we've long passed. So, the next time he levels, I could definitely get him up to Master Rapid Shot which would bring his penalty to a negligible minus one defense, minus one attack. Yeah, let's keep the... Except, that still cuts away the use of implants. Cybernetic implants. Uh, hmm. Because with the cybernetic implants, I could bump his dexterity by two, which would increase his attack by one. But that's still not going to have the distance between penalty. Yeah, let's go with the improved rapid shot for now. And finish up the rapid shot tree, and then maybe start in with the implants. Alright, so he's all set, and now let's take a look at Candorus. Our other soldier. Yeah, I seem to have a lot of soldiers. Almost feels like I'm building an army. Let's level up our other soldier and get him some skills. He, too, doesn't really have much of the way of skills. Honestly, I don't know why he comes with a two in demolitions, but okay. Let's bump his treat injury up and spend his one skill point. Again, intelligence is not his strong suit, but that's not why I have him. <laughs> and let's go to the feats. 
Now, he is not doing anything with the two-weapon fighting, but since I'm focusing on the heavy weapons with him, since he came with heavy weapon specialization, that's okay that I'm not doing the two-weapon fighting. Uh, he's topped out on armor, and a bunch of that other stuff is absolute junk. We've already gone through that. Now, I could bump him up to the implant level 3. However, I haven't run into any level 3 implants yet. I might hold off on that one. And dueling requires a single one-handed weapon. I have yet to run into a heavy weapon that is a single one-handed weapon. Um, who knows, maybe I'll run into the Blaster of Doom that is a heavy weapon that you hold in one hand if you're Schwarzenegger. <laughs> That's not it. I could go for the Improved Toughness, which gives him a DR of Doom, yes. Uh, which gives him a damage reduction of 2, which is also nice. Uh, so, yeah. Improved Toughness could be worth it in light of the other options because he's already got Master Power Blast. He's already got Master Rapid Shot. I could start working down the Sniper Shot, which would increase the crit threat range. And the possibility of stunning them with a sniper shot. Although, again, we're not talking about the highest of DCs for the opposing character to make. Because it's a DC of his character level, which would be 11. His intelligence modifier, which would be 0. Uh, and it lowers his defense by 5. And, yeah, it only works with ranged weapons, which kind of makes sense because it's called Sniper Shot. Um, I think for now, I think for now, I'm going to go ahead and get him up to implant level 3. I have not run into any level 3 implants yet. But this at least gives me somebody who can use them as soon as I run across them. And again, uh, maybe the next go-around I'll do the improved toughness and that sort of thing. You know what? Now, let, let me do the improved toughness. I wouldn't have given him toughness to begin with, but he came with it. So since he came with it, let's go ahead and bump it up. I'm not exactly spoiled for choice on his build. At least as he arrived to me. So let's go ahead and do that. And accept. And there we go. We now have both of our soldiers up to level 11. We are at level 12 ourselves. Let's do a little walking around to see if somebody magically walks up and says, Hey, I know you. You're yada yada yada. And gets us into all sorts of trouble. Alright. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so show me what you have for sale. All right, uh, let's see. Do we have anything we need to sell real quick? We got the advanced med pack, the antidote, life support med pack, repair kit, construction repair. We want to keep those. The security spikes, we definitely want to keep. The spike tunneler, we definitely want to keep. And the computer spikes, we definitely want to keep something with the parts. Uh, we... Yeah, we don't need the Dark Jedi Knight robe. As much as I'd love to run around in a Dark Jedi Knight robe, we, no, sell. We are planning on picking up one last minion, and if I remember right, he is technically a Jedi. I don't know if he comes with knight level robes or better, so I'm going to hang on to the Jedi knight robes for the moment. The battle armor, everybody that could possibly use it is already using something better, so we're going to go ahead and sell the battle armor. And we're going to keep Mission's Vibro Blade because we want to upgrade that. We're keeping our lightsabers. I'm hanging on to the green and yellow crystals for the moment, but we can sell off that red crystal. 
And ooh, here's the question. Do I want to hang on to the heavy blaster? That's the blaster pistol. But right now I've got everybody about where they need to be. So I'm going to go ahead and sell that. The sonic rifle. It does dex damage, which is always nice. But it's got a low DC, a DC of 14. So it doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but it does kill their dexterity slowly but surely. I'll hang on to that for the moment. The blaster rifle nobody is using at the moment, and honestly I really want something better than that anyway. So I'll go ahead and sell that. All right, the frag grenade I'm hanging on to because the uh, concussion grenade I'm hanging on to. Thermal detonator. 60 points of energy damage. Has a secondary effect of knockdown. Yeah, I'll hang on to that. Same for the plasma and the ion. All right, nobody's using this aural amplifier because I've got everybody up with the best that I can get them. The only question is, do I want this for my last minion when I get him? And that depends on whether I really need to bump his awareness up. So I will hang on to that for the moment. Uh, shields? Yes, please. I would like to keep them all. <laughs> the nerve amplifier belt that gives them an immunity to mind affecting. I might switch that out for what a couple other characters are working with when I start encountering more Jedi or more of the Sith because the uh, the Sith will be using mind affecting stuff so while it's not important at the moment I have a funny feeling that's going to be important later on this bumps fortitude by three again that's one of those things that I don't really need it right now but I have a funny feeling I'm going to need it later and the cardio package increases constitution by one. That is one of those implants that I really could make use of. And the response package bumps dex by one. I've got a couple people that don't have the feats to use those yet, so I'll probably hang on. It's not like I'm sitting on a ton of credits by hanging on to them either. It's not going to earn me that much. So there's our clarity, yada yada. I've got both of my droids up on their plating as best I can, so let's sell that. The awareness, neither one of them is going to use that, so let's sell those. The energy shield, we're going to hang on to, because these shields have limited uses, so it's always worth having a couple of those handy for when they finally run out of the one they're holding on to. And we got an advanced stun ray. Uh, 10 uses, doesn't do any damage, but on a hit, it stuns 100% for 9 seconds. Save DC 20 to negate. Ooh. Range medium. Yeah, that's going to be worth hanging on. Alright, let's take a look at the buy list now that I've emptied out everything I can. All right, we're not buying any of the med packs or kits. We're not buying dark Jedi knight robes. I just sold it to him. We're not buying a Jedi robe. The enchant enchanty light armor. Uh, that is not the upgradable one. And it's not as good or better than anything I've got. So it's definitely not worth a K. I've already put everybody through the possible military suit, combat suit, battle armor, light battle armor. Not a one of those is better than what these guys have on hand. Usani's brand, I couldn't buy it even if it was better. He's got some light savers for some reason. Oh, wait, no, because I sold them to him earlier. He's got some red crystals because, well, I sold them to him earlier. He's got some blaster, some heavy blasters because I sold at least a couple of them to him. Now here's the question, Jamo Hogra's Carbine, that is a blaster rifle, does 3 to 10 energy and an extra 1 to 4 physical, hmm, oh never mind, 9k, I couldn't afford it even if I wanted to, what about this Mandalorian heavy repeater, that does 1 to 10 plus another 1 to 4 ion damage, 
Okay. And it's got a plus one to attack as well. That's not bad. Requires heavy weapons proficiency. I've got two people that can make use of that. It would definitely be better for our battle droid. Except again, we're lowering the floor, but we're increasing the ceiling and we're getting a little bonus ion damage and we're getting a little bit of range back. That's worth thinking about. Although at 2,500 credits, that is nearly half the money that we have on hand. And it's only a minor jump in what he's got. And he's already going to get a jump once we get the blaster pistol upgraded. So, I, I, I think I'm going to hold off on that unless this carbine's worth it for less. And no, it's not. The disruptor rifle, no, we already knew that. Blaster rifle, I already sold. Grenades, awareness plus four, nice, but no. The headband is nice, but no. The Bothan sensory advisor. How many Bothans died to get us the sensory advisor? Um, requires armor proficiency light? Oh. Immunity to critical hits. Plus four to awareness, plus three to demolitions, plus three to security. That could be worth putting on mission because she's got a pretty high security in demolitions already and I tend to use her for those skills and getting her immune to critical hits would always be nice and it's only 150 credits let me think about that see what else I can dig up because again little limited on the money. Sonic nullifiers. That's damage resistance. 10 versus Sonic. Not bad, but... Not even worth 100 credits unless I pull it off of some guy's body. I'm not going to spend the money on it. Breath mask. Immunity to poison. That would be nice if we were running into more things that poisoned us. But that's not a plan. Kraken gauntlets. All saves go up by three. And dex goes up by one, which would be awesome, except for the $7,500 price tag. Moving right along. Stabilizer gauntlets, I sold those because the plus two in demolitions isn't worth the slot it's taking up. Energy shield's nice, but I've accumulated a few. Sith energy shield, good to know. I can get some more from here if I need them. Energy shield, good to know. I can get some more from here because I've still got a couple left over. Thermal shield generator. Immunity to fire. Ooh. Okay, so da immunity to fire. Ooh. Never mind. Look at that price tag. 8k. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Uh, immunity to mind affecting. So it's nice to know I can get another one if I need it. That is 1,000 credits. So not something I'm going to spend just to have handy, but it's good to know it's available. The cardio regulator, Fort 3. Nah. Another cardio re regulator, Fort 2. Nah. Stealth generator, no. Retinal combat implant. Immune to critical hits and awareness goes up by one. It's good for the immunity to critical hits and the awareness is nice, but that's more of a side benefit than anything else. Just not better than what I've already got on everybody. So... Immune to mind affecting. Again, that's nice. I'm not running into enough of that to make it worth spending 500 credits just to have on handy. We got all the drugs and the poison. Ooh, the bonding alloy. Was that one of the... No, that's not one of the ones I needed. That's the same level plating I sold. That probably is the plating I sold. And the motion sensors. Yeah, those are the ones that I sold. 
Yeah, I know. I could totally buy everybody out if I walked a different path. <laughs> all right, so I've done all the damage I can here. And I know there's a couple other shops that do sell a couple other different things, like the hunting lodge had some stuff that that guy didn't have. So let's go check them out next. Hey, you, you're a named guy. Or are you not going to talk? No, you're not going to talk to me. Okay, fine. Uh, random person number 72. Has nothing to say, so let's go to the hunting lodge. And let's talk to the man himself. Heard about the big fight on the dunes. You're the talk of the lodge. Kill the dragon. How about that? Uh... Should I ask if anything out of the ordinary has happened? Apparently I am the thing that's out of the ordinary that happened. Uh, no, I'm playing a late Jedi, so I'm not going to stroke my ego with that question. And let's see what he has for sale. He might have something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up and show me what's for sale. Alright, that's that named carbine, which he has for less. That is good to know. He's got the carbine for less. And, oh, because it's a different name. It is a named carbine. It is for less, and it does 4 to 11, which is better than what the Assassin Droid is currently doing. It does an extra plus 2 physical damage as a bonus, which is also nice. 25 meter range, not so nice. The crit threat is nice. Plus three to attack. Ooh. Zabrik mercenary Jurgen Kalta commissioned this rifle, a weapon he liked to think of as amusingly destructive. Well, I know somebody who thinks destruction is amusing. Sounds like a perfect match. 4500 that's not a bad price for what you're getting. It's just not a bad. It's just a bad price for what I have on hand. Uh, the blaster carbine he's got for less, but that's not really going to help me. The ion rifle is always nice. It'd be better if I was going against more droids. Sonic blaster. Ooh, armor reinforcement. Didn't I need one of those? Yes, I did need one of those. So I am totally going to buy that. And those are all the raid plates that I've been selling to him. Except he's going to sell them back to me for 99 credits when he bought them for 24. <laughs> okay. Uh, medium plating. That's no better than what I already got. So we've done everything we can here. Nobody's trying to start a fight. No. Although. Just for kicks. Oh. The guy that we did the fight with isn't here. Okay. What you get I to say? I heard what you did out on the dunes. I'm impressed. I'd never have thought a tenderfoot like you could bring down a dragon. Don't make me kick you with my tenderfoot. All right. You said you're a hunter. Again? Well, if you want to waste your day, that's your business, I guess. Never mind. You if know that's what? what you want, I'm not sure what you hope to get out of me, though. All right. See you around. Good you luck. Clearly, have nothing new to say. He won't talk to me anyway. You know, this lodge sure has thinned out since we were last, since we were first here. It's a shame about those Gamorns, though. No, it's not a shame at all. All right. Uh. Next shop, right? Let's see what the Zerka Corp has for us. We mean to ask Greetings again anyone. from the offices of Zerka Corporation. Is this about bounties or something else? I assume that by out of the ordinary you're referring to the destruction of Terrace. I'm afraid Zerka Corporation is Nope. Farewell. Well, we've Zerka already had that conversation. Your future I was hoping for something new. All right, Griff, we know is looking for attack gland, which we can find on Kashik. 
He is still going to keep calling us a swoop jock because we have not finished that quest. That's on our way down. Uh, do you have any bounties? No. What do you got for purchase? Life support, med packs, computer spikes. Ooh. Good to know, because I'm probably going to need some of those as we move on. Zabrik Battle Armor. That could be nice. But if I remember right, everybody's got better than six defense. Uh, the Battle Armor, that's medium. Not bad. Combat Suit. Nah, if it was upgradable, that would have been something else. The military combat suits. Powered light battle armor. Which requires medium armor proficiency. I might have to think about this one. Not for 3k. Uh, powered battle armor. <laughs> uh, okay, that, that could be better, but again... Requires heavy armor proficiency. And both of the guys that I have... Yeah, I know. It's all about the money. <laughs> the two soldiers that I have that could actually make use of the heavy armor... It's not going to help their defense. Because they're already wearing stuff with a defense bonus of 9 and a max dex of 1. But that plus 1 to strength... That could... I'm just not... Nah, plus one of strength isn't worth 2k. I can get that out of an implant for less. Uh, Vibrosaurs, nope. The heavy Mandalorian pistol, nope. A holdout blaster. <laughs> yeah, no. No, I didn't choose poorly. I just uh, chose poor. Not poorly. Motion detection goggles, nah. Okay. Ooh, mesh underlay? Yes. Wait, did I already buy one of those? Short term memory something or other. No, that's the armor reinforcement. Okay. So the other thing I needed for the upgradable armor was the mesh underlay. So let's go ahead and buy that. Let me go ahead and scratch those off my shopping list so I remember that I don't need those. <laughs> All right, so that tops off armor. That makes for a nice trip. And then we've got one more shop. I don't know. All right, hello, good citizen. Ooh, you gonna say something? I rescued your people. <laughs> okay, fine. That's all the soup bike racing. The good citizens. You gonna say something? Nope. Alright. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Oh. No. You all sure are an ungrateful lot. Double check cantina real quick. Nobody in the booth. Alright, you don't want to talk. You again. What is it now? Circus Corporation only worries about keeping their own stores full. I don't have much on hand. Med packs, security spikes. Bothan Chucka? Are we going to Chucka Bothan? Three physical damage. Your range is three to three. With oh, a chance to stun. Nice, but not that nice. Uh, blood blade. Two to eleven. Not bad, but not as good as other stuff I got. Ooh, a quick draw pistol. Two to five. And no, no thanks. Because the Mandalorian blaster is 
better in almost every way. Except for the stun chance, but again, DC 10? Mm -mm. Uh, stabilizer, stealth unit. He's got some Pazat cards. Ooh, hair trigger. Yes, I needed at least one of those. Buy that. Uh, if I was playing the Pazak game as hard as some people do, I would be very interested in all these cards that he's got, especially since they're plus minus and they're relatively cheap. But I don't play cards, so we'll close that. Um, yeah, I brought you guys with me. The sooner I get out of this dust bowl, the better. Well, imagine you right. coming back. Something you want. Like I said before, I don't much care what you think. I'll be on the. All right, you know. Good. I like you clearly have to nothing to say to me. And well, imagine you coming back. No. Nope. Uh, keep safe. Yep. 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 <laughs> Okay, so he wants to the thanks to the Java under Isis. We will remember you when the ones... Thank you. I was hoping for a little more tangible reward than a little runt would remember me. Hello again. Could I tempt you into a game? Oh, no, that's right. There's You're the local Pazak player. That won't potentially leave you dead. I don't know. You keep annoying me. All right. But remember that there isn't much fun on Tatooine that isn't life-threatening. <laughs> Come back if you like a game. Oh, they have plenty of faith in me, just not of the hard currency kind. Alright, anybody sitting in the back corner is nope. So what about you? Better here than with people of sand. Yeah. You're not wrong on that one. <laughs> oh man. Alright. You bet I can't skin you. Sell the parts. And no, that takes care of everything else because there is nothing else here to do other than to go out. I can go out and hunt. Uh, but those plates are not worth enough money to make it worth spending the time to grind them that way. The XP would be nice. And I would love to come in here to the droid shop, but I missed my opportunity to resolve that one peacefully. And now I... Uh, I no longer have his services at my disposal. Alright, so these guys are about as good as I can get for now. Nobody's going to run up and randomly talk to us, apparently. So let's go back to party selection. I know she's as good as it gets. I know he's as good as it gets. Because I had them both out earlier. I have not had Jahani with me. And I haven't... No, mission I have had out. Because I needed her around with Griff. So she's leveled up and as far as we can get conversation wise. So let's try T3 because I know I need to upgrade him. T3. Tylenol coating? Oh wait. It's wrong T3. Alright. These guys are ready to level up. So she is one of my Jedi Guardians. Alright, skills. You don't get much way in the skills either, so we'll bump your treat injury and... That's a cross-class skill, so I'd have to spend two points for that, so I guess, uh... Yeah. Everything else is a cross-class skill for you. That's a shame. Alright, I guess you'll just get more aware. Increase your awareness, young Padawan. All right, powers. She's got cure, but she's not a high enough level for heal yet. She's already got the force shield, but she's not high enough for armor or speed. Valor is always nice. That increases the physical attributes and saving throws of the Jedi and all party members by two. Not bad. 
Uh, resistance is nice. Energy resistance is also nice. Effect mine. That's really only useful for the main player character. Can't do the stun up to the stasis field. It might be worth building up her stun droid tree. Wound would be nice, but I'm trying to get her to the light side, so loading her up with dark side powers probably ain't going to help with that. Uh, she came with slow, which is a dark side power, and again, we could keep going with that. But, uh, hmm. Not sure we want to do that. Same with fear and shock. We could bump up her force push to force whirlwind, which is also not, which is nice. That's a universal power too. <laughs> Drain life, no. Force suppression. Force suppression is a universal power. And we'll cancel the first and second tier force powers active on the target. All right. That's nice, but until we start running into more dark Jedi or Sith. Um, nah. We could bump up the Thur Saber, though. Because that she's already got that. It's not a lot of damage, but it's a guaranteed 1 to 6 for every 2 levels of the attacking character. So that would be... Uh, 5 to 12, right? No. 1 to 6, or... 1 to 6, 5 times. Math. Not my strong suit. Advanced throw lightsaber would be nice because that gets us the same one to six for every two levels of the character. And it hits the first target and each additional target within five at up to three separate targets. As long as they're all within five meters of each other. Yeah, she seems like the sort who'd throw a saber. Alright, let's go for that. Except and the littlest droid that could. Good, he's got points to spend because we want to max out his computer use. We want to max out his security and his repair. I mean, I like demolitions and awareness, but that's... We've only been bumping those up as... Uh, because uh, with four points and only three main skills, the math... All right. Beats. Ooh, what can we get the little guy? Hmm. He's already gone as far in two-weapon fighting as he's allowed. Uh, he's got caution, which gives him a bump to demolitions and stealth. I wouldn't have chosen that for him, but it's what he's got. Gearhead, which bumps his repair, security, and computer use. That might be worth bumping if we've got nothing else to do because I do primarily use him for those skills and it's one of the it's one of the few times where that would actually make sense cuz we can't get him the next level for the blaster pistol proficiency tree. We can't get him the droid upgrade class 3 which I think he gets on his own anyway. Toughness doesn't really make sense for this guy. The blaster integration. All right, that kind of came naturally with him. And we can't get him the battle droid logic upgrade, but I, I'm pretty sure that comes at level 12, whether we want it or not. Wow. He... He doesn't actually qualify for a lot of feats. Like, there's not a lot we can pick even if we wanted to. So I guess improved gearhead it is. That's sad. Like, I guess I'm going to have to go with all these trees because I, I don't, <laughs> I don't think I have a choice. He doesn't qualify for a lot. Poor little guy. All right. Let's close that. What? <laughs> Worth the money to buy him? Yes, because we needed him to do the next part of the quest. <laughs> It really wasn't an option to not buy them. Worth the discount I negotiated out of them, though. 
Alright, so let's head back this way. Nobody's gonna run up and talk to us all of a sudden because I got these guys in my party. Alright. Then, uh, let's go try our hands at a race. A day at the races. Alright, let's try another time trial, but let's double check our time to beat. 20 credits for a recreational run. Yeah, I don't really want to spend the... What's the track record? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep yakking already. I, I just... Alright, uh, you don't have anything for me. Track leader with a time of 22.51. So that is our time to beat, is 22.51. That's the track leader. That, that's the only one I wonder right now. You want to race? I'll pay for a recreational run. Alright. We're beat 22.51. That was just sad. I don't think I was cut out to be a racer. Yep, 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 yep. You know what? I'm not gonna abandon that side quest until I get a little more practice in. But at 22 credits a pop, or at 20 credits a pop for a uh, trial run, and if I can't even get the trial run anywhere near what the uh, top racer is doing, mm -hmm. that uh. Yeah. You know, I wasn't planning on it, but I guess we're headed off to Kashuk because uh, the the race times are not even close to, to me being able to make it worth the money. I think I'm going to spend more in practice runs than I am going to be actually doing something useful. But before I hop into the Ebon Hawk, let's go back to the party selection. Let's remove that one. Let's get... Yeah, everybody else is 11. Let's add the Wookiee real quick. So we can go in and level him up. Skills. What kind of skills you got? Treat injury. Yes, please. Repair. Yep. And... Demolitions or awareness. I could start in on the computer use, but I think it's at this point it's a little too far behind. So let's go ahead and bump up your awareness. No, let's bump up your demolitions. Okay. A little bit of a stereotype. Are all Wookiees good at repair? Engineering? Alright, you got Flurry for some reason, which I really didn't want. You got all the physical stuff. He's already got the top implant levels. He's got almost the complete power attack tree, which again, it's one of those places where I kind of wish I could reform him to uh, build that. I forget that he's got the weapons focus for melee weapons. He's going to be using a two-handed weapon, so it's not worth doing the two-weapon fighting. And it's not going to be worth doing the dueling. Toughness might come into play at some point, but not right now. He's got Uncanny Dodge 2, but that comes from the Scout Tree, so nothing I do is going to change that anyway. I could add the heavy weapons, but probably not. His Bowcaster counts as a Blaster Rifle. So I could do the weapons focus blaster rifle, which is going to add a plus one to his attack, or I could finish off the power blast or rapid shot tree. Uh, power blast uh, adds plus 10 damage to the next attack. It's just a minus three penalty to hit. And rapid shot's going to get you an extra attack with a minus one to defense and a minus one to attack. 
Uh, power Blast is going to be good for the people that you can drop quick. Rapid Shot is going to be for the people who... The extra attack is going to be worth the the amount. In other words, the extra attack is going to get you better than plus 10 in damage. Or the people that are harder to hit where you can't take the minus 3 penalty to hit. Uh, since we've run into more minions than bosses, let's go ahead and do the Power Blast for now. We'll do the Rapid Shot next time, and then we'll start looking at other things like the Weapons Focus after that. Bam. Done. Alright. Sure. Everybody's upgraded. Let's run around the ship, have some chats. We already know how mission's gonna be now that Candorus has yeah, leveled. What do you, want? you got anything new? Nope. Your choice. I'm here. What about you? Statement. You have anything HK47 new? HK forty seven is ready to serve, Master. All right. Uh, I would like to try to restore some of your memory. If you believe your skills are up to the task, Master, then I can certainly guide you through the process. Request. I only ask that you be oh so very careful, Master. I am too valuable and well crafted to perish, well -crafted in the hands, to perish of at the hands of ineptitude. Are you implying that I am inept? No. Let's just get started. Statement. As you wish, Master. The first stage is the simple one, right. and that is accessing my Contort central your hand control and reach cluster. This may take a while. First, you will need to open three panels, and now rewire the last three relays. Yes, Ooh. good, well done, master. I new believe your memories. operation was a success. Accessing new memory. Access complete. I have recovered information on my owner previous to the commercial officer, Master. Intriguing. Hmm. What's so Statement. intriguing? It appears that my previous owner was a human senator on the planet Coruscant. A man of importance who obviously appreciated quality craftsmanship. Obviously, if you say so. Uh, how did he get a hold of you? I am unsure, Master. Any knowledge of my owner prior to him is still deleted. The Senator did assume I was a protocol droid, however. I do oh. remember that I was very pleased to be the property of a Senator. One of his assistants discovered my assassination functions later through questioning. The assistant was mm -hmm. quite alarmed and told the Senator I should be scrapped quickly to avoid a scandal. Naturally, the Senator had me eliminate the fool. <laughs> Uh, all right. Is it wrong that there's a part of me says that I wants to say it sounds like my kind of guy? I mean, that's not the character I've played up till now. But uh, I really love, naturally, the senator had me eliminate the fool. All right, so we're not talking about a nice senator. Senators are not nice, master. They are either on top of the game or yesterday's news. My master told me that frequently, you see. I was most proud to have partaken in the political system of the galaxy. During the time partaken my owner possessed in the political me, system. he gained significant rank. Given time, I believe he could have become chancellor. I even eliminated a few key opponents that he did not ask for. Freebies, if you will. <laughs> so that's participating in the, uh... Is that participating in government? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I, I am a little disturbed that, you know, he did it without asking. So, you Answer. could do that? Certainly. Why not? I am an intelligent droid, you know. I see an opportunity, and I take it. And my master was most pleased with my work. Observation. Hmm. I think he would have done far better had he not allowed his use of me to become personal. He set me on his wife. <laughs> okay. I, I guess that's one way to resolve things. Answer. I am unsure. The human was most agitated and angry. 
I believe his wife had done something that had displeased him greatly. I was to go oh. to their summer estate and terminate his wife, along with whatever male companion I discovered there. I see where you're drifting. Uh, I don't want to belabor the obvious because I want to keep things moving. I, I'm pretty sure I know the answer to, so you just kill anyone you're told? The answer is going to be yes, and some I don't. So, uh, let's go with question number three, and did you... I journeyed to the southern continent, but it appeared my master was not far behind me. Apparently, he regretted his activation of the protocol. When I found the wife and her companion, I proceeded to launch my attack, but my master interposed his own body and was destroyed. It was rather a strange meatbag thing to do, do you not agree? Naturally, uh -huh. I shut myself down, my master being terminated. <laughs> So that's two out of two masters killed. You know, I, I'm really not liking this trend. Like, we keep finding out about a previous owner who died under unusual circumstances. Who acquired him from somebody who died under mysterious circumstances or strange circumstances. You know, what Good happened statement. to you then? I believe the senator's wife was unsure what I was or what to do with me. It was she who sold me to the corporate officer an acquaintance oh an acquaintance or an acquaintance uh have you recovered Answer. any other memories as previously i have found a few more programs which will enhance my performance Ooh. a most gratifying always discovery, nice in fact there is still nothing from previous memories uncovered you will have to operate again if you desire to find them with luck i will discover the stimulus to unlock my core and all this will be unnecessary. Oh, this will be unnecessary. I do thank you for the attempt, however, Master. Because your repairs, HK-47 now has a permanent bonus of plus two to his defense rating, in addition to the plus two dex from early repairs. Always nice. All right. Uh, Statement. HK-47 is ready to serve, Master. Oh, okay, so we got some more restoring that we can try. Let's go ahead and try our luck. If you believe your skills are requests, are up to the task, I only yada have yada, ineptitude. Let's get started. As you wish, Master. As you wish. And now rewire yes. the last three relays. Yes, good. Well done, Master. I believe your operation was a success. Accessing new memory. Why do I get the complete. feeling this guy was I have owned access by Seth. information yes. on my owner well prior done, to the senator, master. My apprentice. Most I mean my master. Unexpected. Prior to the center, most unexpected. What Answer. now? It appears that previous to my ownership by the senator, I was the property of one Bochaba the Hut Bo on the Chaba planet the Lahiron. Hut. Uh I wonder, did the would the huts have built them? I mean, there's a part of me who wants to do the sarcastic question and go, and what gruesome fate awaited him? Because, you know, that does seem to be the going trend. Uh, let's ask if the Answer. huts built him. It does not appear so. Or at least Bochaba was not my first owner. He purchased me from somewhere else. Hmm. Okay. My memories tell me that, for a time, Bochaba <laughs> was one of the most feared gangsters on Slaheron. I helped him so, with his reputation greatly. Over a span of one year, he helped him I make some offers that other people of couldn't refuse. Twenty-two sentient meat bags. These contracts <laughs> made Bochaba very wealthy. Uh. And so what happened it to stop that? It was unfortunate but inevitable that eventually Bochaba would overstep his bounds. I had just cleared two hut households when the exchange <laughs> Yeah, retaliated. I know. I was trying to let that one pass. I was not even present when my old master was assassinated. I did appreciate the artistry behind his demise upon <laughs> my return, however. Um... I wasn't there, but I appreciated the artistry behind his demise. You know, I'm really not liking the way this is turning out. Like, I'm starting to feel unsafe. 
All right, how is he killed? Answer. Allow me to say that I have little doubt that residents of that sector were fishing pieces of bochaba out of their soup for weeks afterward. At you. any rate, I quickly shut down upon my master's death. The rival hut claimed me along with my master's other possessions. Observation. If that hut had only known my true function, he surely would not have sold me to a senator he bribed <laughs> regularly. Okay, okay, so... We got from a hut to a senator to the senator's wife who survived despite who then sent it to an acquaintance who put him in a warehouse who he then got sold to this backwater droid shop whom I then bought him from. How... All right, how convoluted is this chain going to get? All right, so... Hmm. So would you have preferred to stay? You would have been found out eventually. I should dismantle you. Eh, you would have been found out eventually. No doubt, Master. It would have been a glorious battle to end my existence with. I would prefer that to rusting on a junk heap. <laughs> okay. Do you remember Answer. anything else? Negative, Master. Nope. There is still more memory that can be restored, however, if you wish to try. As well, I okay. believe I can restore several programs the hut installed to improve my performance. Oh. Yes. They are now active. Contemplative. I wonder how okay. many more <laughs> dead masters I might That's have. That's my there. question. That's my question right there. How ago. many dead masters are waiting out there? Because, yes, you can live for a long time. All right, because he repairs, HK-47 will now regenerate at a rate of one vitality point every six seconds in addition to his other abilities. Hot diggity. I've got an assassin droid that has fast healing one. Sweet. Go ahead and, you know, save this game right now. It would be a shame if something unfortunate were to happen after making all this progress on upgrading our good friend over there. It would assassinate my goodwill. Statement. Or good cheer. HK-47 is ready to serve. Ready to serve. Alright, let's try restoring more of the memory. If you believe yeah. request. Okay, I be so careful. Let's Statement. get started. As you wish, Master. Alright, yada yada. Now close the last panel. Oh. Hmm. I am afraid the operation did not succeed, Master. Though it was a valiant attempt for a meat bag. Supplication. <laughs> Perhaps it would be best if you desisted your efforts for the moment, meat bag. I mean, Master. This seems to be going nowhere. There's a part of me wants to try again, but I deeply suspect this is going to be a level-dependent growth. So I'm going to go ahead and stop right As where I'm desire, at there. Master, I cannot help but claim a small amount of relief. Oh, hush. Signing off. I ought to assassinate you. Valiant attempt for a meat bag. All right. Let's uh, upgrade the armor while, we, while we're sitting here because we did pick up those two armor pieces. So that's going to increase the defense bonus and immune to critical hits and immune to mind affecting. Assemble. So that means all the armor is upgraded. Yes. And we picked up a trigger for somebody. So let's see. What is it? No, he's already got the trigger. And there's none of the other stuff. All right, Karth was fully upgraded. What about the bowcaster? Was that it? No, the bowcaster was already upgraded. So it was going to be one of the blasters. Bam. Probably should have done that one. But uh, I think I'll keep spreading out the upgrades. 
Alright, that's all I managed to buy there. So, who's next on the chat list? Uh, there's nobody that hangs out in the engine room. Nobody that hangs out in there. She went back to her family. And was there anybody down this hallway? No, there was nobody down this hallway. Alright, so... He's not going to talk to me at all. He's not going to talk to me till we get to Kashuk. You How have anything to say, Jahan? I was wondering if we could talk. What is it you would like to speak to me about? How about you pointing that blade at me? <laughs> Tell me more about your well, past. I suppose I have not talked very much about the Jedi I met back home. They, all of them, were so very invigorating. Invigorating. They were so very alive, so full of hope and energy and zeal. In retrospect, I can see it was a little bit tragic. Tragic? Yes. These Jedi were going to fight the Mandalorians just after they had invaded. Many of those Jedi uh, perished in the okay, fighting. Okay, so we're talking about us, during the Mandalorian War. Invincible, especially their leader. Who they talked about all the time. Paragons of light and justice sweeping away all iniquity before them. It was like looking at gods. <laughs> Damn straight, I do look divine. No. No, no, no. That's not the character I've been playing. That is entertaining, though. That seems like something I would put in a game. Alright. Jedi are not I gods. That. I know that. I was uh, using poetic, poetic license. license. But those Jedi, they were enthralling. Everyone wanted just to touch um. them. Some people thought it would bring them luck. Not that the peace they brought lasted very long. What happened? The Jedi left. The people grew complacent. Those who had been wronged saw their chance at revenge. And so the cycle continues. The oppressed become the, the new generation of oppressors. The human oppressed, that is. The non-humans were never treated well in any case. We felt the brunt of both administrations. Hmm. Was it that of bad? Of course it was. They mm. took their frustration right, maybe that was the wrong question. Us, because the people they wanted had already fled or were too well protected. But no one looks out for the injustices we suffered. Oh no. But but I am sorry. I should not have outbursts like that. Uh, hmm. it's not alright. Don't want to badger her about the dark side, although I feel like I pro that's probably the answer I should be giving. So, as long as you do not let your anger influence you. Uh, mm. I know. Yeah. And I must be ever careful that I do not fall back into those ways again. I, I thank you for your support. My outburst was uncalled for, but you did not lash back at me. No. You are a much better Jedi than I, it would Give seem. Into your but anger. let us not speak more no. of this now. Okay. We should continue on our journey. Perhaps later we Perhaps will talk we'll again. Perhaps we'll talk again. Perhaps we will. Probably the next time you level. Alright, so that was at least productive. Now, uh, is anybody hanging out in the med bay? No. I wonder where that last guy is going to end up hanging out. I, I expected them to be a little more spread out. Alright. Whiny McWhiny Face or my other Jedi companion. Oh, let's get you taken care of. Yes, what's on your mind? Um. Alright. You want to talk? You got pretty upset the last time, or we didn't end our last discussion very well. Let's try. Do you want to talk? I, um, I'm not very good at this. I, I know I owe you an apology. Uh, 
More than one, probably. Yeah, a little more. I was more just than so one. desperate to finally face Saul directly in the Battle of Terrace. And now the Jedi have us looking for these these star oh, maps. Oh. I know this mission is important. It's just I, I feel a bit useless. I, I mean, I can fight, sure, but I'm no Jedi. All this feels completely out of my league. That is tempting. Well, maybe if you pull yourself together, you won't be so useless. Like, channel some Arlie Ermy. Uh, like, like, what was that commercial he did? You know what makes me sad? You do. <laughs> Let's go down to Mamby Pamby land. But never mind. It, uh, well, you return to the front lines then, or how does that excuse your actions? Uh... Let's go with it how does that excuse know. your it's, actions. It's been a while since I've even had to think about that sort of thing. I just hate not knowing what's going on and feeling this... helpless. I mean, I, but I shouldn't have taken that out on you. I've been a royal pain in the backside, haven't I? Yes. Yes, you have. <laughs> not really. I couldn't care less what you think. You sure have. All right. Don't worry about it. It's probably going to be the, the right path to take. Even though I really couldn't care less what he thinks. And he surely has. I'm pretty sure the right answer is don't worry about no, it. No, I do worry about it. I've traveled the lanes more than once. I should know better Seriously. Than so, I'm sorry. Will you accept my apology? <laughs> Just keep quiet and do what you're told. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's not going to help. So only if you agree to work with me. For once. I kind of wish there was an option that didn't have the for once, but uh. We're done. Let's okay. get underway then, shall we, partner? Alright. That was better ish. Alright, hot stuff. You look like you have something to say. I do. I've been trying to come up with the best way to say this for some time, but I suppose I should just come out and say it. The truth is, I have come to depend on you. Not just for the sake oh. of the mission, but for my own sake as well. I am. Um, I'm glad you're with us. <laughs> well, she did make that sound very painful to admit. Is that a compliment from you? Uh, what I can't tell is if that's going to be come out as teasing as I think it was intended or insulting as it was probably going to end up. Because I don't want it to be insulting, but... Uh, Uh, yeah, let's You're go with it. Me. You know very okay, well what good. I said. <laughs> I'm still reeling from the shock. Was that a compliment? Too little, too late. Sorry. No. Well, yes. Surely that's not so surprising. Uh, it's just that you Did sound I? so pain. I am trying to be sincere here. It occurred to me that I may have been too critical of you. Too demanding at times. May have been? <laughs> may have been is certainly an option on on the... Uh... Yeah, alright, thank you. I appreciate well, I know the gesture. Be a bit taciturn. I know you must be getting taciturn sick of my lectures about the dark the side for and, it. and everything else. I spent all my years being hounded by my instructors. This is a family-friendly stream, so, so I can't use the word that would really fit until in I was there. Sick of it. I remember when I was younger, I used to swear that I would never become as self-absorbed and stodgy as the Jedi Masters. It's ironic, really. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't forget edgy, critical, and overly secretive. Nonsense. You know, self-absorbed or stodgy. Uh... Sure, That's let's kind try of you it. to say, but I know for myself it's not really true. Being controlled has kept everyone around me at an arm's length. Even those like yourself who are most in need of my understanding and compassion. Maybe it's time to change that. You deserve to know how much I respect and admire Aww. you. I had to tell you how much I care for you. As a friend, of course. As a friend, of course. Please, it's, it's not allowed. I have to remain true to the Jedi <laughs> ideal. If this is going to cause a problem, maybe I... Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. Uh, 
Well, that was not nearly so difficult as I feared. Thank you for hearing me out. I feel... I feel much better. But enough soul-searching for now. We should probably continue on with our mission. Alright. Now that we've leveled up, we've had our chats with everybody. I don't think anybody else has any... Well, I don't know. HK yes, had a couple to life? catch up on. Never you mind. How can I help? And... Never then I suggest mind. we move on. Alright. So. I'm gonna have to come back later anyway, once I get the... thing that, uh... Griff is looking for. Then so let's go over to Kashuk. And do the next part there, because that's the next star map, and... It's a whole bunch of stuff all wrapped up in one planet. Let me switch cameras. Now, hopefully, this should switch between the game and the video playback and back to the game without the issues that we had before. You know what? Just in case, let me go ahead and save the game. Are you sure you want? Yeah, I'm sure I want to save. Let's save. All right. Bam. Bam. And tr There we go. Hallelujah. And we're off. Yeah, I might I might do a little creative editing on this one. So only those who watch live get the full story. Except for that cryptic remark. <laughs> Guess you'll have to watch live Thursdays starting at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. I'm going to be pissed. Oh, no. Okay, so we got more than just that, that little bit of video. Okay, good. So... Everything crashed for a little more than just a clip of us taking off. Tossing. Turning. Drama. Star maps. Star map. Is that in the... Hmm. Where was that? I guess we're about to find out. Go visit the home of the Wookiee. I'd growl like a Wookiee, but I can't roll my R's. That's still a disappointment. Pointingly, not much video. Okay. Ah, another vision. Another the Force vision. is guiding. The Force is guiding us, helping us retrace the steps of Malak and his old master, leading us ever closer to the Star Forge. Kashek is a lush but simple and undeveloped world. I would not have expected I think the to find would beg to differ on that star one. map here. Uh, I don't have time for your visions. Bah. Actually, I think we're at the point that I can safely go back to this view. And that way there's chat options down... Dyslexic thought. Down that side. So if you want to participate in chat and you're watching this on YouTube, just know that it's an option when you're live. Alright, so it looks like the star map was on the, the forest floor. The their home high among the Rosha branches. Only the bravest warriors dare to descend into the forbidding depths of the forest. Well, I the am a brave map warrior. If located far beneath us on the planet's surface, as our vision seems to suggest, it's unlikely the Wookiees even know of its existence. No doubt things will become <laughs> more clear once we discover the star map's location. Alrighty then. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and save, because I don't want to have to go through that again. Alright, no point in yada yadaing with anybody. 
Let's uh, let's get out of this place and which way's out? I lost out my own ship again. That's embarrassing. Everybody should be equipped and come on. We can't go to Kashik without taking him. Question is, who do I take along with us? Uh, I could take Mission, since she's the one who's paired with him all the time anyway. Could take HK, because he's likely to be highly hilarious. Not necessarily helpful, but highly hilarious. I really should probably take Bastila, at least until I get a sense for what we're doing and where we're going. Karth might be a little less of a whiny if uh, I took him along. And Candorus is always good to bring around. And I, I guess Jihani probably would be too, but let's let's go with Bastila. Uh, that seems like that seems like the better option. Okay. Are you sure? Not really, but one goes to war with the army he has. Oh. Of course I'm on your schedule. That's how this works, right? Is there see my needs? A hundred credit docking fee. Again with the docking fee. I got your docking fee right here. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Don't make demands. I'm an on junior and I'll land where I wish. Yeah. That would be satisfying, but not fitting for this character. Um hmm. whining about the docking fees probably not gonna help. <laughs> Could I get some information about this planet? I thought this was Kashik. Uh, maintaining the Southwest Grand Circuit Corporation, naming rights, and the trade guides. Huh. Alright. Where's my persuade option? Upon collection of the correct fees, I will extend what resources the Zerka Corporation can offer. I'm sure you understand. Where's my force persuade? Come on. Uh, <laughs> I refuse to pay. What will you do about it? Is the price negotiable? Uh, you know what? Let's skip this. Uh, I don't think I need to pay the docking fee. Perhaps you don't need to pay the docking fee. <laughs> oh, that that was so worth taking up a, a force power. That was absolutely not be used for profit and personal gain. As Jedi, we should be above such things. All right, maybe I shouldn't have had her when I did that. Uh, no, I understand the language just fine. <laughs> I understand more than you can know. No. That will not be necessary. One of the most adaptive people seem to comprehend the Wookiee language such as it is. Seriously, you're gonna insult him standing right there. I'm gonna get some dark side points for persuading him not to pay a fee, in, aren't I? Okay. Is there something I want? I want answers. We're here now. Uh, let's start with the simple questions. What can you tell me? Same as you left him. Slaver still holding people prisoner. Mm. Not sure what I could tell you, or even what I would want to. You're an outsider here too. It angers me. Uh, anything more to say about? It? All right. 
then I will leave you be. Because clearly we got nothing new yet. Alright, uh. Keep walking. This ain't no holiday port of call. Oh, hush you. Okay. What you get for sale? Oh, okay, so... You just unload the garden? Uh... So what is it that you do here? Oh, not a real employee? <laughs> just load cargo. Okay, gotcha. My ship come in, I work straight through the day, but mostly just pass the time play. Oh, okay, so you're the local car shark. Everybody's got at least one. Uh, let's go back to my other questions. It'll be a while before another ship comes in, so go ahead. Alright, um... I have some questions. Oh, he did <laughs> I refuse to call it anything else. I don't care what you say. Just a little. Okay. Ask the patrol guards or Janos. Janos? Janos. Alright. Any off planet? Yeah. Terrace. Seems I'm finding fewer and fewer people who uh, know what happened there. That's fair, whatever's going on, whoever's in charge, will still always need someone to load crates. Gotcha. You're that guy. You're that guy. Um. Uh, right. have to get to work anyway. Right, uh, if you've got business with Zerka Corporation, take it to the director's office. Take it to the director's office. Gotcha. Any boxes over here? Anything to loot? Okay. The lock box, so that's probably stealing. That's probably a lockbox too, so you know what? I'll just talk to the liaison officer. And took ten days for news of terrorists to reach me. They don't tell us anything. Uh, dude. Alright. Oh! Is this the welcome committee? Hello, committee. Greetings again. Oh, that's right. He's the hunter from the. Um, the dragon. I've not been here long. Can RCL will not be as welcome here as I had hoped? I was wondering where you'd gone off to. Uh, why did you leave your home? It was a hard decision. Felt you had no other choice. I'd done a disservice to the apex predator of that world. Well, true. Time to go. So you can do a disservice to the apex predator here? Come here to seek even greater prey than what we faced on Tatooine. The climate here is politically cold, and I don't know if I will be allowed to hunt. Well, compared to Tatooine, everywhere's cold. So let's, you know... Who's perm uh, whose permission, or what do you know? Let's go with what do you know. I know that I don't know enough. Thank you for that glorious insight. Even in the darking area, I can see the world is a true wonder. Yeah, yeah. It's just a shame to see Zerka Corporation here. They lack an appreciation for the wild nature of this world. I don't like having to deal with that. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not feeling too keen on that one myself, either. Uh, if not Zerko, then who? The native leadership. Okay. This is their world. I can't understand why they are. Really? 
There's always an option to fight, even if there's no option to win. Of course, it's easy for me to say, being an outsider. You're not wrong there. Well, I hope they're not complicit in the enslaving their world. Um, you need to sit down because I have something to tell you and it's going to make you sad. So whose permission are you looking for? Turkey Corp seems in control here, but they don't care if I wander the Shadowlands, so as long as I have paid their docking fee. Yeah, it's nice when people pay their docking fee. No, instead, I want to gain the trust of the native Wookiee population. I'm not here to just kill the biggest thing I can find. I want to understand how they hunt. That's fair. Uh, what are you doing to get their trust? I've heard enough awful older that has gained respect by living in the Shadowlands for some years. Perhaps I'll look up the same. Could just be Hunter Tales. Hunter Tales? Mm. Oh, wait, no, those are DuckTales. Uh, <laughs> what do you know, Cash? Oh, that's right, we've already gone through that. I'm looking for a star map. No, but I wasn't listening for such talk. Sorry that I can't help you. Alright, alright. That was at least marginally beneficial. Perhaps we need a grin. A great hunt. Alright. I wasn't where we were giving tours now. Leave me. Dude. I have stabbed people for less. Three restraining collars failed on the last shipment. The buyer was not pleased. Um. Why do I think I know what you're trying to ship off? Take a walk, Spacer. You don't look like a big buyer to me. Um, yeah. I think we got all sorts of problems here. Oh, here we go. My home I should have prepared you for coming here, but I don't know that I've prepared myself. <laughs> it's a little late for warnings, Furball. Now, prepared me? What do you mean? I didn't leave Kashyyyk voluntarily. Mission must have told you how I was freeing slavers. But there was more. Maybe I should have had Mission with me. I am in exile. The slavers on Kashyyyk only took me after I was forced to leave my village home 20 years ago. Ooh. I keep forgetting how long Wookiees live, too. Why were you forced to leave? My brother made deals with slavers and allowed them to get a foothold. I found out and attacked him. The fight would stop. My father did not believe me when I told him about my brother's actions. Uh -oh. I think I know what we're going to be resolving along with the star map along here. If I was stopped, I was made an exile, disowned by my home and people. I should not be here, they will not accept me back. Um, why didn't your father believe me? When I attacked my brother, I was so mad I used my claws. You don't understand what that means to you. Yeah, I think I'm missing a bit of the Star Wars lore on that one too. Our, oh, okay. Our claws are tools, not weapons. To use them in battle is to become an animal. It is madness without honor. I am forever a mad claw in the eyes of my people. Nothing I say is to be trusted. They were right to cast me out. Uh, hmm. Time has passed. Things will change. Slavers are still here. The dock is theirs. I doubt anyone has risen to try and fight. Nothing has changed. <laughs> That's about to change. I just hope I can prove myself to my people. It'll be difficult to make them listen. I just don't know. Uh, so we already went down the branch of why didn't your father believe you? We'll deal with that if we have to. I know you don't have much hope. You big walking furry cloud. 
Now I'm wondering if, uh, for further conversations, I should have Mission with me. Because she's got the better bond with him. Yeah, as much as I would like having Bastilo's backup, of course, Mission probably wouldn't have said anything about me force persuading the docking fees either, but, uh... Alright. Let's go for this. I guess I should be careful on cash. I could have been posted to Paris. Dude, that's cold. Alright. What about you, you sir? To you. Something I can get for you? Kindly direct your inquiries to me. Matin is merely an indebted employee. Oh. His opinions don't amount to much. Um. Seriously? So New spaces have come to Wild Kashyyyk. New spaces? Please, look well upon the wares of Eli Gand. I live to serve your needs. Just mm -hmm. be sure to pay cash. The interest on his loans will drain you like a diluvian fatworm on a hut's backside. First oh. off, hearts are all backside. Secondly, <laughs> I don't much like the comparison. No need to get personal. It's I don't think you're supposed business. to like the comparison. And it sounds an awful lot of personal. Return with my money for a standard month now. Ah, but you don't need to hear this. What can I get you? Uh, do you always enslave you, Dunner? I resent that. Simply fair business. You can resent that all this you want. fellow's left without settling their debts, so he must make up the difference. I know, mm. I know. It's standard trading rules. I just want to know where my crew mm -hmm. went. I was only gone for two days. This isn't like them. Yes, very sad that they would abandon you, especially while you were doing me a favor and helping repair one of my freighters. Something about this whole situation stinks worse than an overcrowded Ronto stable. What kind of friends would just abandon a crewmate? You think you know someone yeah. and they turn out to be a cheat. Oh, not like you, Matt. You honor your deals. A word is a bond in trade. Uh-huh. You debtors have a habit uh, of running out? from time to time. Credits are scarce out here. And not everyone is as honest as Mr. Dacel here. You'll get your money. My crew will be back. Of course they will. Until then, however, I can make use of you as a mechanic. Very rare to find skills of your kind out here. How much debt buys oh, a man's life? Amount. After all, as a skilled mechanic, Matten is worth much more than what is owed. Especially on this remote planet. Oh, you flatter me, Eli. I guess we're best buddies now. <clears throat> I'm not liking As where this I was is saying, going. It's a matter of principle. I'm nothing. Matter not of principle. In yeah, I'm about to ignite my principle. He'll be free to go when his friends turn up and the debt is paid. I honor my deals. Let no one say otherwise. Perhaps well, I can thanks, settle some no of those thanks. debts. No offense, but there's no point exchanging debt to Eli with debt to you. Besides, he is a hard worker. I'd prefer to keep him. Dude. No, I'm not doing See you business soon, with you. I hope. Always you could open. have everything for a credit apiece, and I, I really don't care. Uh, where, where's the option to attack? I, I don't see that list popping up on my menu here. Um, Alright. Is there a journal entry on that? Bastila, Karth, Jihani, yeah, yeah, star map, honest debt. Okay, so, I've got to find his crew, or something about it. Okay. Let's... Janos' office, and that goes to the Great Walkway. Alright, so let's go to the office first. What's in the food locker? Here. If they didn't want me to have it, they would have locked it. Okay. Sure. There's a lot of people walking around Welcome here. Welcome to right. Adian. I trust you will find our facilities no, past I'm at Kashuk. Zerka Corporation is very efficient. 
<laughs> yes, you tell him. You got nothing to be proud of. I'm sorry, I don't understand Wookie speak. Sherry Wook, I think it's called. What did the Wookie say? <laughs> he wants to rip your legs off and beat you with them. <laughs> and I want to ignite my saber and help him. All right. Uh, let, let me deflect. And you work on Kashik and don't Zirka understand the language. Calls the planet a Dian, and no, I, I don't, don't care what Zerka Corporation. Do I the look like Wookie I care Wookie Wookie what Zerka Corporation, Corporation so calls the planet? Wookies no. Wookies are unable to speak basic, but for the last decade, the residents of all local villages have been trained to understand it. Um. And why would a Wookiee leader do that? very closely with Zerka Corporation. He wants his people to work well with us. It eases tensions. Oh, I bet he does. <laughs> yeah, I kind of figured that was the what point. What did he say? I don't usually have a translator I can ask. He wants to rip your legs off and beat you with them. And I want to help. I just work here in the lab. I yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. have anything. I don't to do like Moloch. I just fire slaves. up the furnaces. <laughs> How convenient! All the benefit with no guilt. Why don't you do I'm anything to stop it? Just an employee. You'll have to take your concerns to Janos. Yeah, I'll take process. my concerns to Janos. I got a couple of crystals in those concerns too. All right. Uh, let's see if you can answer some questions. I'll break you I'm some sorry, more later. But Director Janos will see to your questions. <laughs> I must continue my work. I'm asking you, answer my questions, peon. Oh, so many options here. But not for, not for a neutral good. <laughs> all right. Goodbye for now. Farewell. Oh, you can be all nice about it. I might not be so nice the next time. What's the liaison officer have to say? I could have posted to Yeah, there is that. All right. Our work here could be very important if any effort was put into it. Uh, I don't like the way that sounds either. All right, Janos. Greetings again. Again, you can use the wrong name. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh... I need supplies. Well, I do. Tell me about the planet. I do want to know. Let's start with a star map, though. You have no information on that. The world is very primitive. This world is about to primitively beat you. Hang on, where's the salt shaker? Dying slow. Alright. Much of it is still unexplored, even by the locals. Force gets ever more dangerous the further you descend, the lowest levels, the Shadowlands are largely unknown. Well, yes, I hear there be beasties. Uh, tell me about the planet. B5623 is the numerical designation. The galactic basic name is. No! We could have chosen my corporate ballot. Yeah, no. It would seem you're already acquainted with this world, giving you a choice of traveling companion. Don't make me let my traveling companion rip your arms out and beat you with it. Oh. Oh no. You did not just do that. Where's the snark? Unleash the snark cannons. Power Blast. Where, where, where's the Snark Cannons? Power Blast. No, no, I'm looking for something else. No, I need supplies. I... That's my only option? Yeah, I know, he means they're slavers. I want the most cutting remark this game has to offer. Oh, no, 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 you misunderstand, good sir. I am not a customer, and I am not satisfied.
Why do the Wookiees taller at you? No, he's no. Um, <laughs> a very difficult thing to stage. Don't. You'll be blamed for the actions of the Wookiees? Yeah, because I'm going to help him. Please call him off. Why? <laughs> Man, if I was playing a different Jedi, I should let him kill the lot of you. <laughs> That's not. Hmm. <sighs> Deep breath. Meditation. There is no conflict, only peace. I have other questions to ask. I will answer if I can. Alright. Tell me about Zerka Corp. Branches and many systems concern weapon production for personal and ship mounted use. I'm thinking more local concerns. No. Oh. Bio acquisitions. So that's what we're calling them. Bio acquisitions. Yeah, that, that's almost the answer. Except I'd like to say I'd like to talk about the slaving operations here on Kashik. Kashik. <laughs> a very limited number of things I can say. What do you want to? Do? I can't allow this to continue. Uh, I see. Plan is not a member of the Republic. And Dude, if you don't chill it with the backward citizen. Very humane. Yeah, I'm not the humane upside of your head. Alright. Alright, I, I know what our quest is, besides the star map. Even if you did something drastic here, Zerka Corporation has other outposts, it would change nothing. No, I'd change something. <laughs> What's to stop me from turning my Wookiee loose on you? Dude, questions I want to ask. I've got other questions. Answer if you can. Yeah, we seem to keep leading to anger and frustration, so... What about supplies? Speak with the general vendor near the docking area. He keeps his store well stocked. I didn't find a general vendor near the docking area. Fair value for mundane goods and armor. Weapons you want, you'll need to do a Zerka rep. That would be you. I so don't want to deal with you. Be here to purchase local species. You must wait for a licensed trader to return from deliveries outside the system. Mm. Mm. Alright, what weapons do you have? A well stocked armor. You're gonna need it to keep a bunch of Wookiees down. I'm just saying. Once I depose your collaborator there. Bothin stun stick, heavy blaster sign. I thought you said you had a good armory. I'm not seeing a whole. Uh, a Bothin Discord gun. Alright, a little bit better sonic damage. Which is good. 28 meters, which is also good. It does dex damage with a DC of 14. That's better than the last one. Ooh, blaster cannon. It's a heavy weapon. But it does 3 to 10 energy. 28 meter range. Low crit. 600 credits. Plus 2 to attack. Hmm. I could put that in the hands of our 
good friend, the assassin druid. Tell him I need Zerka off this planet too. Where's the where's the option to do that in this game? Can I just you know tell HK here's your blaster cannon. Go have fun. Just make sure the locals stay safe. <laughs> All right, bowcaster is also nice. That also falls under the rifle, one to ten energy. A little bit better than the pistol he's got, but not that much better. It does plus two physical damage, which is also nice. But uh, one to ten plus two. Ooh, vibration cell. Was that one of the things that I needed? No, I needed the energy projector. Uh, well then. I might just pick up that blaster cannon for our good friend HK. Although he's got his weapons focus is in the pistol and the rifle. He is proficient in the blaster cannon. Uh, yeah. Because right now the, the pistol he's carrying does 2 to 7. So 1 to 10 with a plus 2 physical would be an upgrade. And that's only 400. 3 to 10 with a plus 2 to attack. That would overcome the lack of weapons focus and still give a plus 1. So that, that would be like doing the bowcaster with the plus and add an extra plus one. Better floor, same ceiling, not that expensive. So let's go ahead and buy one of these jokers. All right, journal entry added. Just out of curiosity, what journal entry is this? Uh, people seem to know nothing about a possible star map. Yep. Thank you for that. No, that's the only one. Okay. That and we're about to kill some fools. Uh, I bet... Uh, that's probably the vendor. I don't want to talk to him. I ain't doing it. Keep walking. This ain't no holiday port of call. Yeah. You keep walking me. I'll Hold keep here, walking Spacer. you off. Zerka Corporation doesn't recommend traveling in Wild Adean. Katarn attacks are especially bad right now. Wookie hunters <laughs> usually keep numbers down, but I think they leave certain areas infested, just hoping a Zerka guard will get killed. I probably will too. <laughs> I'm going past you. I paid the landing fee. Well, I mean, I paid the landing fee. Uh, don't get my way, you'll wind up dead. Not the way I'm going about this. What do you you're know about the Wookiees? You're the Wookiee lover. Why don't you tell me about them? I'm sure you're real close friends. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Keep your pet on a leash, or you'll be wearing him. I have no love for these animals. I've seen guards ripped to shreds. Maybe I should just let him rip your arms off. All right. So the Wookiees are fighting back? Not anymore. Look, you want to know why the Wookiees are acting compliant? You go ask them. When they rip your head off, we'll fish it out of the Shadowlands and give it a proper burial. How about that? Dude. Uh... Watch yourself out there. Yeah. There won't be any rescue missions if you go missing. Talk to the captain, not me. Yeah, I did talk to the captain. Captain's lucky to survive the encounter. Oh! Okay, so we're starting right there. Gotcha. Alright, let's force whirlwind you. Force whirlwind you. And... You're probably weak enough. Let's go ahead and do a flurry on that. Get the mission. Let's get you to power blast the ever-living snot out of that joker. 
Well, let's get you, good sir, to power blast the ever living snot out of that Joker, and then we'll go yes. from there. Yes. Okay, that was quick. I was expecting a little bit more of a fight on that one. Alright, what's the corpse got? Parts, credits, med pack, and a frag grenade. Alright, I'll take them. These guys don't have anything worth hunting? Of course not. Come on, Z. Hmm. Damage sentry droid and a bunch of people just chilling there. That can't be good. Sounds, the smells. I feel it now that we are away from the spaceport. Walkway is new, probably built by the slavers. The village is not far from here. Okay, good. Uh, is there anything I can help you with? Ship, I'm feeding you. Come on. I must warn you one thing. I don't know if I will be a help or a hindrance. My father was very powerful a chieftain. Hmm. Perhaps his feelings are mellowed, but if my brother had his ear all this time, I may be very unwelcome. Yeah, we'll take care of that. We'll deal with that when the time comes. <laughs> nah. Come on, dude. Open up. That's part of why we're here. Uh, Alright, let's not do anything with the mine yet. Or it is damaged and inactive. Well, I got the repair part. Let's go ahead and fix it. And yeah, let's put it in patrol mode, too. Um, I got 16 parts left. Two more will get me shields. One more will optimize the weaponry, and one more for the targeting system. Mm, as much as it's burning through parts, and I'm not sure I want to just burn through those, I should get some extra XP for that too. And an extra level is always nice. I can buy more parts, even if i got to go back to Tatooine to do it. Alright. Let's do it. Let's activate the shields. Let's optimize the weaponry. Let's optimize the targeting system. And there we go. An extra 780 XP. Always nice. That wasn't enough to... How much do I need? Uh... Five... Alright, so another... 2,500-ish. Alright. No, no, no. Patrol this captain. I can't afford this. You think I can? Do you know what they get for a healthy one of those things? We'll work it out later. We've got company. What are you on, Spacer? Uh -huh. I'm Patrol Captain Denno, and you're interrupting Zerka Corporation business. Well, I'm about to operate. Uh, what happened this here? This Wookiee slave got a little rebellious. We had to put it down. Dude. <laughs> does this make you bad? I bet it does. Alright, let me handle this. It is. Trust me, buddy. It is. Careful now. 
That growl sounded pretty threatening. Keep your slave on its leash or we'll have another accident. Just shut up, you trigger-happy idiot. Uh, do you suppose of approve of this? Do. Why would you ask me that? You're doing some sort of snap inspection? You're trying to get me to admit to incompetence, aren't you? Not going to happen. I stand <laughs> by my patrol. This Wookiee got out of hand and had to be put down. We'll find another easy enough. <laughs> this may cost you more than you know, fool. No. Is that a joke? Who do you think you are? <laughs> All right. Le Ooh, do I go ahead and do the force? Per yeah, let's do the force I, persuade. I think I should pull in some favors and get us moved off world. You then. want to move uh, off world? Are you? All right, Captain. Are you questioning my orders? You don't want to do that. If... if you say so, Captain. Yes, I say so. Move out. This place just isn't worth the trouble. Exactly. Move out. Oh, light side points gained. Nice. All right. Oh, so I wouldn't have had to buy a bowcaster. Oh, poor guy. Seriously? Alright, disable the mine. And disable the mine. I'll let that keep doing its thing because, well. Oh. Well, that sucks. I, I was expecting a little bit more out of it, to be honest, but at least it took care of that one. Uh, you know what's nice about this game engine? No jumping games. Alright. Alright, at least he, uh, softened those guys up. What's in the refuse pile? <laughs> what's in the refuse pile? Some drugs and a grenade. Must be a city. Alright. I will end up to Force points if I'm going to keep doing stuff like that, though. Alright, uh, hmm. Is the bat going to attack? Of course it's going to attack. Alright. Let's do the whirlwind and let's try to. Oh, no. I wanted to power attack this guy. Are these guys close enough that they can target them? Yes. Let's queue up the power attacks and... Queue up the power attacks and there what? we go. Oh! Make the save. That... That was anticlimactic. I mean, don't hear what I'm not saying. I, I like an easy fight a lot more than I like a hard fight, but... At least make it interesting. Alright, so we got one of those guys, and we got a corpse over there. Let's lean this way, so... Oh! Never mind. Lead in with that. Power attack. Get you... You should be in range now. Power blast. And let's get you. You should... Yeah, you're definitely in range. In fact, you're closer than I'd like. But... Okay. Sure. Oh! Uh. Push the bug. What does the corpse say? Nothing. It's a corpse. Hey, that's some of the parts we used. Production kit, med pack, battle stimulant, blaster, pistol. Yes, please. 
Hey, thank you for the follow. It seems that Streamlabs is uh, working a little weird. I know that Mixer integration has been a little off with Restream. But uh, definitely, thank you, thank you for the follow. All right. Let's see what other trouble we can cause here. we got a few of those guys. I'd rather not deal with the whole herd at once. Actually, no. Let's get them a little bit closer together. And let's throw a grenade. I don't need to hit that close. And let's go. Come on. Eat him up. Power punch is working for me. Let's try regular things. Let's try throwing a heal in there. And can we throw one more heal in there? No, not yet. We'd be a little low, so let's use a regular med pack. We got more than a few of those guys. Alright. And toss a grenade, try to force world in here. Because the flurry seemed to work a lot better than the one we were doing before. Oh, so I really should have queued over to my other guys and got them on the top of the But, uh. There we go. Let's see, we've got two paths diverged on Kashyyyk, and I took Wookie Guard. This is probably Z's village, so let's go there next. You are not permitted to pass into the Shadowlands. Only Chundar may allow you entry. Okay, so this is the way into the Shadowlands. Especially when... Oh. Oh, come on. Dude. He's standing right there. Uh-oh. Wookie fight. This is when a smart person steps aside. Whether we wanted to or not, we're going the other way first. Uh, where's the view I need to see? Yeah, I can't roll my R's enough to pronounce that on stream, so we'll just go with uh, that city. Which I'm guessing has to be over here, because I only have two directions to go, so... Uh, <laughs> onward and forward. See if I can at least get to the village. And then. Alright. Sure. Let's try it. And are you close enough to power blast? No. Neither one of you can catch up. But you know what? This is one I'll wait. Sure. Let my party catch up to me? Where, where my Wookiee at? Dude. Where'd you go? Did we leave you behind somewhere? There you are. Come on, big guy. You're not just here for window dressing. Are you behind me? Good. All right. Now, let's go for those. And are you close enough? No, not yet. Sure. Okay, you guys are close enough now to attack. So let's queue up the power blast. And let's queue up the power blast. Sure. And there we go. Uh, we didn't have their attention just yet. Let's get the flurries in there. 
Let's queue up the power blast there. Let's queue up the power blast there. I'm gonna save my force points if I can. There we go. There's some XP in there and everything. Alright guys, gather close. Let's do that heal. Everybody should be good to go. And now, let's level up. Skills. I would like all the skills. No, I can't have all the skills, so... Uh, computer use has come in handy. Repair has come in handy. And I'd really like to bump that up one more. So I can max those out, however... I really need to up my Persuade. Because that would help in areas where it would be inappropriate to use the Force Persuade. And I'd really like to bump up my Treat Injury too. It's about par with the rest of my companions, so I'm not like behind or nothing. But that does improve what I get when I use a Med Pack. And if I remember right, it also interacts with the, uh, the Force Skill Heal. So, yeah, let's bump up the Persuade this time. We'll, we'll do the Treat Injury next time. Okay. Powers! I would like them all, please. Just give, give me all the powers. All the power in the world. All right, Force Wave doesn't happen till level 15. There is nothing after Cure. Could start down the aura, but that is restricted by armor. I'm trying to avoid those if I can. Just because of the way I'm trying to build this particular character, not out of any min-maxing or whatever. Um, I'm trying to stick to a particular theme. Uh, energy resistance. That would be good. Although I haven't been running into too many energy attacks at the moment. Um, that would have been helpful earlier when we were fighting all those people on Terrace, but I didn't have the force training then. It'll probably help again later. So, energy resistance is on the table. Stasis field isn't an option. And that one's restricted by armor. Interesting. Uh, stun droid is always an option. Wound, that's going down the dark side. Slow, that's going down the dark side. Fear, that's going down the dark side. Shock, that's going down the dark side. Drain life. If you didn't realize that was dark side, we have questions. For suppression, that's restricted by armor. Throw lightsaber would be nice anyway, just because I don't have much in the way of ranged attack at the moment. Uh, beyond trying to do a stun or a stasis. Um, yeah, since stun and stasis are my only ranged options, and all that is is a holding action, let's go ahead and take the throw lightsaber. Because that would be nice to have handy, as at least as an option. And accept. Do you, do you level up because I leveled up? Do you level up because I leveled up? Or are you guys not going to level up until I level up until we get a little bit further along the way? Alright, supply station. Hmm. Alright, emergency frontline supply station. Present. Circuit Corporation resource... Uh, oh, present Circuit Corporation resource ID for... <laughs> okay. So do I want to break into the boxes? Do I want to hack the boxes? Or do I want to leave them away... Leave them where they are for the moment? Uh, resource station designed for field insertion at key patrol points. Access granted by a Zerka ID card. Alright, you know... I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait on that. As much as I want to loot all the things, I'm going to wait on that. Alright, so there'll be some Wookiees over there. 
Let's see what else is on this platform. Oh, that's not an option. Lord oh, never Mark mind. Those aren't Wookiees. Those are Sith. He you had <laughs> alive. He is yeah, he's going to have to live with being displeased. To you. Yep. Guess what? You're going to have to live with, uh... You're going to have to live with disappointment there, buddy. I don't think that's going to do anything, but... Why not? Uh, where's my other shield? I don't have another shield, so let's go ahead and use that one. And... As much as I'd like to use Power Attack and Flurry, I'm a little worried about the hit to defense, and until I know what these guys can do, I'm just going to stick with the regular attacks. Uh, you are definitely... You, on the other hand... Let's try the Power Blast. I don't think that's going to get me as far as I'd like to, but... Yeah, let's load up on it and try. Hmm? Okay, fine. Alright. Let's give it a shot, shall we? What? Probably should have saved after that last one. But... Oh! Okay. So we're playing like that, are we? Alright. I guess I should have grabbed a couple of uh, my Jedi buddies when I saw those guys lurking around the corner. But I didn't think they were Jedi either. Kind of the problem with the graphics level here. Alright, uh, you know what? Screw this. Let's go full on flurry. Except I'm probably going to need a heal in the middle of that, just because I'm looking at the hit I've already taken. Oh. Yeah, this is not going well, is it? Let's bump that. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and hit up the flurry again. Uh, let's do that. You are about to be in some trouble there, kiddo. So let's go ahead and throw that. Oh, it won't let me cue that up. I know you're going to get hurt. Alright, fine. Let's do that. Yes. There we go. Oh. Let's bump that. Let's go with that. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and get two med packs in there. Just because this is looking pretty bad. And then we'll finish up with the Power Blast. Let's get you good, sir. Power Blast... Oh, no. Not the regular Blast. Power Blast. Yeah. Oh, I don't have enough Force Points. Dang it. Uh, you know what? Let's do... Another Life Support. Let's get an advanced med pack in the queue. Get some guns. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What you get? Some crystals, a dueling shield, some credits, and a lightsaber. Yes, please. What you get? An energy shield, some crystals. What are you doing with the yellow crystal? And two short lightsabers. There's a joke in there. I'm sure there is. 
Alright, crystal, cardio regulator, dark Jedi knight robes, and another double bladed saber. Alright, so let's do that now. I don't know how much further it is to the village. Before I forget, let's go ahead and save, because that, that could have gone very, very badly. And who knows what's around the corner. Now, I'm trying to keep an eye on the clock and make sure I don't go too far over my time today. Even though we did have that bump, I need some time to edit, and I still got to be up for work at 4 in the morning. Alright, so maybe this is the village. We've saved. Uh, you know what? While we're here, I got some force points regenerated. Let's go ahead and heal. heal one more time. There we go. So we're all back up to full health. Let's talk to the Wookiee guard. Hello, good sir. Have you heard the good news? <laughs> uh oh. This is about to get ugly. Must answer to Chunder. Um. <laughs> what does he mean? Ah. Uh, this is about bringing you back. Dude, chill with the language. Yours is a foulness that disgusts me. I mean, I know he doesn't bathe, but neither do you. Trust me, I know. Okay, we'll be taken to Chundar. Alright. Oh, so I get to add another party member. Hmm, who? Okay. I'd love to have him around, but... That's good. That seems a little counterproductive. Love to have him around, but I know his solution is going to align too much with what I, the player, want to do versus I, the character, wants to do. So let's go ahead and grab Bastila. An extra lightsaber would always be nice. Think light side thoughts. Think light side thoughts. <laughs> Step forward and address the mighty and wise Chundar. Don't often allow or don't often get. Work by Zerka slavers, are they not outsiders? Mm. <laughs> you tell him, Z. Uh oh. Things are different now? So how much has changed in 20 years? You're mad claw without honor, you have no voice among your own people. You're the chieftain. Okay. Um. <laughs> I'm not going to say ignore him. That's not help. Nice nest to lie. Yeah, if you've made deals, the truth will get out eventually. Now I wish I had a droid that recorded you saying that. <laughs> I've had a long time to guide what my people think. But trust me, the mighty Chundar, even with my brother insane and father enslaved, I rose to protect my people despite it all. Uh, <laughs> he's the runt? Okay. I mean, I guess when we're talking about Wookiees, runt is a relative term. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to get to the fight, so why drag us here? Oh. So you're going to make him an offer he can't refuse. And maybe I'll put you to use on a menial task. Z will have to stay here, of course. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm not going to abandon him to you. Not your choice. I already have him. I could fix that. Dude. He suffered the same fate, gone mad and been exiled. He now works in the Shadowlands. Huh. Okay. More importantly, he's pestering my Zerka allies during their Shadowland expeditions. Not good for business. Uh. All right. What's your version of events? He took offense at my trading a few of our people for favors and weapons. Well, okay, that's pretty much what he told me. Oh. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not thinking this is going the way you're seeing it. Gained weapons, rounds for certain rivals to be taken. Uh... Ooh. So, do I go with which explains why the Wookiees in this room haven't killed you? Or do I call him a big hairy hut? Don't, don't look at me like that. These are hard choices. You have no idea how much I want to press number two on this one. <laughs> I want to call him a big hairy hut and tell him if he doesn't like that, he can do things I can't repeat on a family-friendly stream. All right, uh, let's just go with which explains why the Wookiees in this room haven't killed you. Each has come to understand the benefit of working with the enemy. Uh... Yeah, no, I see how you're trying to spin it. I really do, but... A few careful stories and everyone called him Mad Claw. Uh... I'll consider what you said would be... the neutral option. I really want to go with, I won't do this. Do your own dirty work. And I don't know what other questions I was able to go back to. You know what? Go do your own dirty work. You don't have much choice. You can flee the planet, but you... Oh. Okay. He'll stay until the map is dead. Zerk will never let me hold you, but I don't care what I do with fellow Wookiees. You can't do that! He can't do that, can he? He can't hold Zalbar prisoner just because he's chieftain, can he? I need him with me as a guide. No. Find your own way. Over the years I've had my people trained to understand Galactic Basic. Yes, I've heard that. I tell them to better understand the enemy. They think it'll make the Zerka easier to fight. Actually, it makes them easier to obey. Remember, you can't beat me here. No one would dare oppose me to join with an outsider or an exile. I got news for you, buddy. You are about one button press from eating a lightsaber. What you talking about, Z? Oh, now we're gonna bring up daddy issues. He was the one that ordered you exiled when you attacked me. He went as mad as you when he finally discovered the slavers. He dared challenge them alone and has not been seen since. Well, yes, of course he would go as mad, especially now that he knew what was up. Uh, 
play along. Let's see what I can do. <laughs> Dude, growl at me one more time. Don't worry, growl buddy. again. We'll get you out of here. I said you growl again. <laughs> well, I'm okay. Guards will let you pass. Leave the village in the northwest. Follow the platform south and then east. You'll eventually see where he waits. He'll lower you to the forest floor. Hmm. Well, okay then. That. Oh! No, no options for chat. Chatty chat. Okay. There is a village of people to chat with. It is late o'clock. So I am going to go ahead and I am going to save. Uh, actually, let me just check what's the uh, star map. Well, I got to go into the Shadowlands anyway. Build uh, the Mad Wookiee. Why do I get the feeling I know who the Mad Wookiee really is? Alright, let's save the game. Are you sure? Yes, I am sure. Awesome, you're gonna work. Okay. This is where I want to thank you all for joining along. Games Revisited, I do every Thursday at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. We're currently playing through Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic as a part of Season 1. Uh, I have started some thoughts and plans on what might happen in Season 2, although we got plenty more to go before we get there. Um, I've seen the playtime estimated around about 60 hours We've been doing 10 episodes of roughly three hours a piece, so we, we still got a little ways to go, especially since a couple of those episodes uh, didn't advance the plot as far as we would like. Um, I may run back to Terrace and try the racing. I may wait until after I find the, the item that Griff needed since I'm going to have to head back to, I keep saying Terrace, Tatooine. I may be headed back to Tantooine. I'm going to have to head back to Tantooine anyway when I find the thing that Griff wants, so maybe I'll try my luck with the races then instead. Um, this is not the only stream I do. On Tuesdays, I play Minecraft on the CoffeeCraft server, starting at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern there as well. The archives are in the YouTube channel, so if you're watching this on Twitch or Mixer, the link to the YouTube channel is down below in the description. I still haven't figured out how to point on the camera angles with everything as it is working on that. If you're already watching this on YouTube, then down in the descriptions will be a link to Twitch and Mixer. I use Restream.io to simulcast to both services, so whichever one you have an account with, whichever one you enjoy more, join me there for the stream. Archives, I, I, keep, I keep the archives as long as both services will allow me on them, and the archives are also available on YouTube. If you would like to help the channel out, the Streamlabs donation page can actually be found at live.anonjunior.com. That will take you to where you can donate and get added to this list of fine people that I would love to thank at the end of the stream. It also gives you quick access to the Twitch stream, Twitch chat, and the complete video archive from YouTube. So there's a lot of stuff going on there. Bookmark that. It's a quick way to get easy access to everything that's going on. You'll also find links to my website, which I should be updating this weekend. Hopefully, uh, although that was my plan last weekend and best laid plans and all that. I, I might talk about that more later. And speaking of later, tomorrow, this Friday, I will be doing the 47%. That is my World of Tanks stream that also starts at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern on Fridays. It's been a little bit more of a casual ish. <laughs> I, I try to show what a casual player can do, what, you know, uh, try to turn Weekend Warrior to a valid 
play style as opposed to a derogatory term. Uh, although with the time that I need to put in to make this stream a little bit better and the time I need to put in to make coffee craft a little bit better, I may be putting the 47% on hiatus. I have not decided yet. I will definitely be streaming tomorrow. I just don't know what's going to happen after that. So, um, we'll see how that goes. I'll chat a little bit more about that tomorrow as we go about the stream. And hopefully I'll be joined like usual by Fart Rock and Hordes of Locust. They're my usual compatriots in a platoon while we have fun with some tanks. So this is where I'd like to say thank you. Have fun. Enjoy. Enjoy.